Wow, Welcome. here we go. Oh my this gosh. This is the um, inception <laughs> of After We Wrap. And I'm Jana Lee Ortiz. This I'm Gabriella Ortiz. You can call me Gabby. Gabby Short Ortiz. And sweet. We have come together and we are so excited. I don't know begin. why, but now now my heart is pounding now very it fast. Is now it it's like, oh, what is this? Cool, no big deal. Whoa. The moment our producer said start the show, yeah. it's like Shane uh, Hartline, uh, shout out to our producer. Yay. But really quick, Future we just want to get started um, to share that we're so excited and we hope that you subscribe to us on YouTube. I forgot for the there's cameras. Visual, right? Yeah, <laughs> cameras. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, we're on all the Apple podcasts, yes. Spotify, Google Podcasts. Follow Anywhere us. you want to listen to your podcast, just follow us, subscribe, tell your friends, give us a five star yeah, rating. Tell yeah, us. follow us on social media after we wrap show and our own that's personal. What we do yeah. we 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 we're talking about all the things after we wrap, right? This we're, is what happens after actors wrap. They right. come home and they do normal stuff like and talk on a podcast. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. And no better than to you know, I guess, I guess. Combined two Puerto Ricans with the same last name in Los Angeles. Yes, same last name. No, we're not sisters. I we wish. might as well. We might. We as might well be like be. second cousins, third cousins. Yeah. We should do a DNA test, though. We I'm should. very curious. Jane is from the West Side. I'm from the East Center. So I don't know okay. about the Rincon odds. San and... Juan, Guaynabo, which okay. is in the San Juan area. So the odds are a little bit, mm, but Puerto Rico's like. Yeah, you we were instantly family. Tiny. I, yeah. I hear that only 1% of the people in Los Angeles are Puerto Ricans. What? Yes. 1%? So as soon as we meet, like, oh, yeah. there's an instant Oh, yeah, instant connection. connection. Like, oh, my gosh, family. Ah. Mm -hmm. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Hey, oh, Puerto Rico. Huepa. So we'll be saying huepa A lot. throughout the yes. entire And don't mind episodes. us if we're like, mira, que paso? Get used to that because that's very right. normal yeah. for Puerto Ricans to like... Yeah. Especially, you know, when we have to speak English every mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. we miss speaking Spanish. And so it's just like, oye. Yes. Que pao. Yes. It's, <laughs> it feels like home all the time. So okay. shall we? Shall we? Let's go oh. ahead. So on this episode, I get the privilege to interview Jaina Lee Ortiz. Oh, boy. So we Here get we to go. know her a little bit. And yeah, let's just get right to it. Well, before we okay. start, yes. I have to say, and I know we, we, we touched on this lightly right before we started this because mm -hmm. i i don't love talking about I myself i know it's so awkward there's so weird. much fear especially with you know a platform like this where it almost forces you to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and kind of i mean this is I, I feel like my first time where i'm really like sharing a bunch of intimate details about my life and my experiences yeah. and so i love it but at the same time it's also very scary because you know, the, 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 the permanence of like what you say and what you put out there is there forever. Forever. But I feel like, anyway, we'll get into it. We'll right. get into all that. No, but, but it, yes, it's, there it's is so interesting in because this. even as actors, we have to be open, you know, and vulnerable. And then, but that's work. Yeah. And so yeah. now we have to do it in, in a personal personal level too. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's, it's exhausting. My heart's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first question. Oh! I know. Okay, I know. here we go. We got this. Who is Jaina Lee Ortiz? Who is Jaina Lee Ortiz? Okay, well, fun fact. Jaina Lee Ortiz. I was born Ortiz. Jessica Ortiz. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was born Jessica Ortiz, and my middle name was supposed to be Lee, Lee. but my parents never put it on my birth certificate. Yeah. Because <laughs> my dad was in love with Bruce Lee, and the doctor who delivered me was named Lee, Dr. Lee. So they were like, yeah, Jessica, Ort That's Jessica Lee Ortiz, let's do it. But they decided not to. Mm. And so uh, growing up, Jessica Ortiz grew up in the Bronx, New York. Only child, only grandchild, no first cousins. Mm. I know that's very similar to you, but we'll get to Gabby no Ortiz cousins? in a second. Oh my God. Zero yes. first cousins. No. Everyone's a second, third cousin. And so, yes. And then eventually when I decided to pursue acting, I said, you know what? I'm, I'm sick. I, I grew up with so many Jessicas. Yeah. I even went to Starbucks one day. And the name Jessica was called three times and it wasn't even mine. It wasn't my, it wasn't my coffee. So I was like, okay, I need to distinguish. I need to sort of like, I don't know, stand. I wanted to keep the initial J. Sure. Yeah. Because obviously it's such a special thing when your like parents give yeah. you a name. Mm -hmm. And 
I think it was hard for my my parents to adjust to Jaina. But anyway, I kept it the J initial. And then I, you know, I had to I had to keep my last name because I feel like my last name. Oh yeah. That's that's our identity. It's short. Right? It's like you have David or T or T's yes. that you can like, oh yeah, I know. But Ortiz, also like yeah. don't change your last name. Right. That no. is that mm-hmm. is who you are, your culture. Well, I can't your speak background. for myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 I, I right. took my grandma's place, but we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, Jessica Ortiz turned Jaina Lee Ortiz again. Now I'm like, I'm and where did so, Jaina come from? I'm tired of talking about myself already. No. It hasn't even, um, Jaina, it's only I, been two minutes. I, I swear, I just looked up a bunch of baby names that started with J. Oh. And I said, "Ooh, Jaina, I've never heard of it before." I've yes, never heard of it. it. Yeah, you were the only one I've heard of. And when I went into my first commercial audition in Los Angeles, I remember someone going, "Oh, Jaina, how do you pronounce that name? J- J- I've never heard of it before. How you know how different?" Love it. Like, yes, it. Love worked. it. Yes. Love it. Whatever. Nice. I don't. It's funny because back in New York, I'm Jessica. Yeah. And here in LA, everyone knows. So me when as your Jana. friends see you, they're like, "Mira, Jessica." Jessica. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what about your parents? Are they or your dad? Does he still call you? Jessica? He calls me Jess. Okay. And sometimes it's just Jay. A lot of a lot of my friends who knew me as Jessica and <laughs> and kind of like were introduced as like Jaina is the new name. They just said, you know, I'm just gonna call you Jay. Jay's going to work yeah. out. Yeah. Jay. Just they get to, simple. you know, you're Jessica since you were born. Yes. So and my like, dad yeah. always calls me Jess. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. But, yeah. um, but yeah, Bronx, New York, only child. Only child. Said that already. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about like your life as an ch- only child. I'm a, I'm an only child too. So, you know, it was, ca- how was it for you? Did was, you, did you play? Well, did you have a lot of friends? Were you a loner? I had a lot of friends growing okay. up. I grew up in the Bronx um, on Castle Hill. <laughs> Shout out to J-Lo. Hey! <laughs> hey, Castle Hill. So I... I've never been, so I have no idea. <laughs> I know, I love like. the excitement. <laughs> hey, Castle Hill! Like, I don't know what it's like. Um, I grew up with a lot of fam... My, my, fam- my friends became my family, right? Um, and so... Being an only child, I, I spent a lot of time playing with myself, looking in the mirror, talking to myself, mm-hmm. also becoming so accustomed to being alone. <laughs> sound department, hey, 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 <laughs> we're going to give it to you. Hold we got some sound. construction oh, that is in Pasadena. Not. We're coming to you live. Don't worry. I am currently living next, next to uh, a house that is currently being renovated. So 7.30 in the morning, this is no. what I'm hearing. Hey, forces you to get up early. Should we? It's okay. Okay. We're going to continue. Um, so this is, is what happens. This, this is life. This is life. This is life. When actors get home and people have to are, put themselves on yeah. tape, you hear the noise. You An have to kind of work by, with it. There's a police chase. There's yeah. your neighbor screaming. And crazy I grew things. up yeah. with a lot of this noise in the Bronx. So I'm kind of and used Puerto to Rico it. too is the same. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have extra noise from the cars. You know? Yeah. Is it okay? <laughs> are we sure? Are we good? Okay, yes, Mike's. Hi, ASMR. hello. ASMR. I'm not Coming into to you ASMR, live. So. <laughs> Anyways, no, let's but focus. Uh, growing <laughs> up, I, you know, I was so used to being the only child and I, I, you know, just by myself. So I've always wanted, well, no, I got so used to being alone that I remember growing up, I would be like, I want to be the only child forever. I don't want a brother or a really? sister. Ooh, I don't want to have any siblings. Ugh. But then I would always, you know, immediate like instantly when people he- would hear that I'm an only child, they would they, they would be like, "Oh, you're spoiled." Yes. But I would I would I I disagree because it's like there's no one else to uh-huh. give attention to, so I'm I'm really not spoiled. Yeah. Um, first but, girl, only child. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. And like, I and, oh, and she's spoiled t- until mm-hmm. this day, like I am the last of my family tree. If oh. I don't have any kids, my family tree it ends, ends with, with me. You. How does that make so, you feel? So I, I don't know. There's a little bit of pressure to <laughs> like the need to extend yeah. my, you know, keep the name going. Mm-hmm. But also it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. There's so many the Ortiz's out the, there. So if the you get, Ortiz, it's yeah. like the, I call it the Suleika Rivera. You know, Suleika, she was our, yes, our Miss Universe. Yes. There's like this, I know we're going off topic, but there's like this, um, stigma where she's like, oh, she's the last Miss Universe from Puerto Rico. That's it. <laughs> Suleika's not going to allow to nobody right, else to right. take that title. So. Well, yeah, I feel special in a way. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know. But anyway, uh, growing up, I, I've always wanted to 
do gymnastics. <gasps> I used to watch the Olympics. Um, and obviously, like, growing up in the 90s. Yeah. Like, we didn't have... We, grow, you know, that was we would go outside then, and play yeah. with our friends and and we would come back. Like, that was our, that was our social our, media. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, we didn't, we didn't wake up and, and instantly, like, go to our iPads. We no. had our cereal boxes to yes. keep us entertained. And the and scholastic... So, do you, do you have the scholastic, the book thing that that's what I used to do when I would eat my cereal? Oh, no, I would I read the scholastic that. magazine and like, what book do I want to order? Ooh, now? Oh, I like that. Yeah. OK. And, yeah. And no, then like after that. that, I would go play with my neighbors. Yeah, yeah. It was always playing outdoors. Mm-hmm. So I remember watching the Olympics one time and telling my mom, I want to do gymnastics. And so she couldn't afford gymnastics. She, so she took me to Starlight Dance Studio in the Bronx, yeah. New York. I was nine years old. I have heard of that. And (laughs) it was a dance company for kids. And I remember it was so adorable. Like she, you know, she wanted to get me involved into something active and gymnastics was out of our price range. So in, in to Starlight Dance Studio, we go and they asked me, what, what are you interested in? Hip hop or salsa? And I had never heard of salsa. I didn't know what salsa was. Really? And so the only way to distinguish the two different dance types was to show me the shoe. They showed me a jazz shoe and they showed me a, 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 heel, a salsa a little, heel, uh, a mambo heel. And I, I was such a girly girl. I wanted to be a princess for every Halloween. So, of course, I chose the heel. I am right? starting to believe that. And we from are nine sisters. years old, <laughs> I started dancing salsa up until, yeah, 1920. And that was my, yeah, that was kind of my. Construction wow. is really doing it. <laughs> but, you know, I know I'm going to tune it out. I'm going to tune it out. Um, so I, yeah, that's how so, I got into dancing. So once you got into dance, was there like a figure that you were, that you looked up to and you're like, I want to be as good as her? Or there wasn't did you just anyone, like no, have yourself to There wasn't like, anyone in particular. Yeah. I just, I think I enjoyed uh, performing. And eventually I, I started teaching. Like by the time I turned 13, okay. I started teaching. Oh, wow, teaching. that's young. A, 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 yeah, a lady styling class in one Ooh. of the one of the classes at Starlight. Yeah, it was so much fun. And then I shortly began to travel, and we would we would perform at different salsa conve- conventions. We called them congresos, right? <laughs> salsa conventions all around the so world. Serious. It's I know a convention. it's just a convention, <laughs> but they, we performed everywhere. And we weren't. I mean, I guess yeah. I, at one point, I was in a group where we competed. Um, and we were like the only group th- that did salsa. Everyone else did jazz and oh, modern wow. and ballet. Okay. And we, so you brought we something stood out different. With yeah. Some salsa. Yeah. But I, it was so much fun performing um, at different, uh, you know, ad- everywhere. We performed everywhere. Sal- Orchard Beach, South Street. Oh, well, <laughs> all the Bronx natives <laughs> will understand what yeah, this like, is. I don't know. <laughs> South Street Seaport, Orchard Beach. It was the most fun. And, um, and then by the time I was a teenager, I, I joined a few dance companies and we were groups just traveling to different wow. congresses and we would teach and perform and then social dance until four in the morning. And that was kind of our life. Wow. Four right. In the so morning. as a high school student, I would. Yeah. How did that conflict with your school work? I would travel. Dance? I would. I remember being in Switzerland for one weekend we're leaving Friday, coming back Sunday, and then making it in time for the student council announcements. And I remember traveling as as a high school student and a salsa dancer. Oh my god! And that was kind of me as a in high school. I was like the I was the popular dancer. Yes, you were. You know, I mean, that's I think that's kind of why I was chosen <laughs> to be president of the student council. It was a popularity contest. It wasn't. But yeah, yeah, I was the I was the salsa dancer. Everybody want to be like Jaina. Shout out to yeah. my mom for putting me in Aww. dance. It kept me focused. Yes, yeah, baby. but Aww. also, I mean, not to just make it all about me, but you are also a dancer. We're gonna tap into yeah. This episode not about me. About we're gonna you. tap into <laughs> Gabby's story and her history as a an only child and dancer, which yeah. is something that we have in common. It's crazy that we have that in common. Right? It like gives me chill every time I talk. Oh about it. Oh my goodness. So in during your career as a dancer how did where did acting come from how did that happen i know i know (laughs) so when i was 15 i was performing at side street side street side street kid oh my god was it side no it wasn't yeah it was side street that was a club in the bronx and i remember performing with a 
Yeah. I remember performing in the Bronx and these two students from New York University came up to me and said, oh my gosh, we love your stage presence. We would love to see if you're interested in, in being in our, you know, five minute short student film that we're producing. And I said, yeah, sure. No problem. I was 15. Yeah. And that was, that was an experience. I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that I loved it. I knew that, I don't know. I, I, I never had to like memorize lines. And I, I mean, you just, mem- but you had to memorize steps. So it's like, the yeah, same it was concept. part of like the your choreography. The I, I, thing, I said, yeah. Oh, I can, I can take, <laughs> sorry. I know I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Construction. Ooh, ooh. There was complete <laughs> silence. The entire time Until we're setting we started. up, we start the podcast, but that goes to show you that when life I'm getting a little lemons. corny here. When life, life throws you, you lemons, lemons, you better make you that make lemonade. lemonade and and it better be juicy. <laughs> um, or make so, mimosas. Or make mimosas. Shit, right now we need a little, hey, cheers. cheers. Ah, cheers, cheers our podcast. <laughs> mm. So I sucked ass when I, when, when we, when we, when I saw <laughs> that performance of that student film, I straight up told myself, oh my gosh, you suck. What are you doing? But I, I, I really did. I truly loved the experience. Like, I, I mean, I got to stay with my mom's friend, Anna. She lived uh, in, in Manhattan. And that's where I shot the short film. And it was called Polly and Me. And I played this like, this drug addict. It was really weird. At 15. Yeah, at 15. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but this is fun. This is so much fun. It was it was pretty much to me like performing the same way I performed salsa on stage, but mm-hmm. I I got to be vocal and use my voice and and it lasted longer than 3 minutes, right? Cuz yeah. that's what a performance is, yeah. right? It was an extension of dancing and that's why I loved it. And so I continued dancing and then by the time I was 20 21 what I really wanted to do was pursue a career in dance and open up my own dance studio. Okay. But I yeah. decided, let me go back to that acting, whatever that acting experience you were still was. Interested. It was I, like li- still I really in the back enjoyed of it. Okay. And if I and I, I'm really interested in it. So I'm gonna like take it seriously. And and I I enrolled in a like a two year conservatory nice. in in Manhattan, a two year Meisner conservatory I did called too. Maggie Flanagan. Yes, yeah. yeah. And that was like two years of hardcore training. Meisner training. Yeah. And I at that point that's when I threw my, I, you know, I, I like to say I hung up my dance shoes mm-hmm. and I kind of left dancing. You know, I, I tucked it to the side. Yeah. But yeah, that was my. But the, you're lo- always going to be a dancer. I think. And that's we'll the beauty be about dancer. dancers. You we're always so have con- that, me- yeah. that muscle memory. And we're so connected with our body. Yes. We understand our muscles. Yes. We just- understand the, the, the connection with the song. And when each, like each choreography has its own. You're, you're giving out a message. Same thing yes. with acting. It's, yes. there, it's almost as you're walking the same uh, line. Yes. You know? You're expressing um, your uh, an art I, form through, yeah, and I through think, movement. Because there are a lot of dancers. If you, um, there, if you look at the history of actors, you see that they either started off as a dancer mm. and then there's a connection there. Oh, because it's easy for dancers to transition into actors. At least that's yes, been in my experience yes. and, you know, in 100%. Your experience now. I remember watching J-Lo. About it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And seeing her music videos and like trying to <laughs> imitate her. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, we all yeah. I would like memorize oh, yeah. the choreography. I call her my mom, you know. That, oh, right? <laughs> mommy <laughs> J-Lo. She would, she will always be like that one that you look up to. I think as a, so. For me, especially for our like generation. Yeah. I being think Puerto she's Rican, like, growing up in the mm-hmm. Bronx, starting off as a dancer. Yeah. I mean, I can't do the singing part, but for sure, like yeah. getting, getting into acting through dance. That was, that was the one that I looked up to. Yeah. Icon, queen, legend, mm-hmm. all the way. Mm-hmm. J-Lo forever. J-Lo forever, <laughs> yeah. She's- and then I, 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 you know, I happen to just have her initials. So maybe maybe That's we're so also true. related. <laughs> um, no, but yes. Okay. No more about me. No more. Are there no, more questions? No, this is I'm about just, you, okay. girl. You're going to take this. You're going to take it. You know what I learned, <laughs> though, through this process? Yes. Like, I learned to appreciate your story 
because no one else has it. Mm -hmm. So just embracing yeah. I know your it's history. Weird. And, yeah. and yeah, and yet, like, it makes you uncomfortable because you're like, who am I? Because I don't want to talk about myself. And, talk uh, about myself. and for, for a yeah. long time, I hated my story. Yeah. I, I, would, I, would, I, I was embarrassed by it. I'm like, who wants to Why hear? Why were you embarrassed? Like, I don't well, know. Was it because, okay. I wonder I if it's thought the same. I didn't like it. Okay. You know what I mean? You didn't like, like it your took story. me. Okay. I had to work through like, oh no, but that's but that's the beauty in it mm -hmm. to just take your story and and as much as you don't like it, yeah. as much as you want want it to change, like that is that is a part of you. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't define you, but it just it, it's it's your makeup. Right. Right? To me it's like what makes my story? Why would I tell my story to the audience? What mm. what's what is there about me that people are going to be like? Oh my God, I can look up to her. It's like right. I, I and mean, there is so this, blessed. There you know? is one person I, I come in this from world. A good family. I I had a great education. You know, there's certain there's mm -hmm. things in my life that I look back and I'm like, I'm fine. What is there about me? What are you? Yeah. Know why is it so me? special? Why does it? Yeah. Why? You know, compared to like other people out there, you know, going through whatever issues they're going through. But there is that one person. And then person at the same time, it's who like, your story. Wade, your story connects yes, with me. Yes, yes. You know? 100%. And we forget that. Yeah. We realize yeah. that along the way. Right. So going back to your dance, um, to this exploring salsa and exploring your love to the dance, salsa is a huge part of the Puerto Rican culture. Yes. How was that when you started dancing professionally? Did I mean, it help connect with your roots? It was did you were you already connected? Because I know living yes. in the Bronx, the, you know, growing up in the in the U.S. versus the island is very different. So, like, mm -hmm. if you do, you, you want to talk about that? It, How was that? Yes, it was such a huge part of my life. Like, it, I feel like it was the chunk of my childhood and and teenage years. Like, it took up so much of my time. Yeah. I was in dance class every week, and then it turned into three times a week and then it turned into living out of a suitcase and traveling for dance. So it was so much of my, uh, it was so much part, like a part of growing up for me. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I connect my childhood and, 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 and high school yeah. is it, through salsa. And that's, I think that is how I connected my my roots my culture my family didn't really i mean i'm second generation puerto rican so if anything i was more infused in in my culture more than my parents and grandparents no oh, i didn't wow. speak the language but i understood it mm -hmm. and i also i was i was i absorbed so much of the dance that i was i instantly felt like oh yeah i'm this is this is part this is just a part of of my family it's you, yeah like this yeah it goes through your blood yeah it's part yeah. of your dna it's and you know there's something that a lot of people there's like a stigma about puerto ricans and new york ricans yes you know? it's like, yes and i know you and i have briefly talked about it and there was an interview with fat joe that i saw years ago where he's like oh you know i grew up in the bronx and people tell me that i'm not puerto rican enough because yes. i you know wasn't born in the island blah 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 and it's like, I'm thinking it's like the J-Lo and Mark Anthony thing. It's mm -hmm. like they're both, they both come from Puerto Rican parents. They were born in a different territory mm -hmm. that doesn't take away their Puerto Rican. 100 percent You know, had, had J-Lo's parents had J-Lo in Puerto Rico, everyone would be like, oh yeah, she's Puerto Rican. You know what I right. mean? And then, but no, but because she was born in New York, she's New York Rican. Right. It's like, yeah. Why are you taking away There's this that? separation. Yeah. But I think that's what's most beautiful mm -hmm. is that you have you find and meet so many different puerto ricans who are born in chicago and mm -hmm. born in new york and raised in i don't know europe right yeah that i lived in we, europe and right. we're going to talk about that later at the end of the yeah. day it's all in our blood mm -hmm. and it's so beautiful that we can connect with our heritage because it is it's you know it's part of our yeah. background and all, the, all all of our different experiences and upbringings is what brings us together, right? Because it's so different, yes, and it's so beautiful. Yeah. So yes, I do. I do definitely feel. Um, I I would always say that I was a watered down Puerto Rican because I didn't feel enough. <laughs> oh, I didn't feel Puerto Rican enough. I've never heard that. But now I'm like Puerto I'm embracing Rican. that shit. Yeah. That shit is in my blood. I think the older you get, the more you realize it's yes. like, oh my god, well, what is all basura these people were telling me right. that I'm not that I shouldn't yeah. feel Puerto Rican enough? I am right. from the island. 100%. You know, you are technically yes. 
You're, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I am in LA. Yeah. Now you're here. Now we're in LA. And honestly, I, I'm so glad and you're to in have my met living you. room. And I'm in your living room. <laughs> The Heartline oh, Studio. I'm sorry. We're in, in oh, the yeah. Heartline Studio. We're in Heartline Studios. <laughs> and I get to re- I get to connect with another Puerto Rican which whose is, last name is Ortiz. I know, which is and so a fellow beautiful. actress. And and yes. And Dana. This I'm 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 can you believe? I can't believe it. I know. Thirty I minutes have gone this. by. Our thirty time, minutes have gone. I know. See, we, this we is can exactly sit here and do- talk about our lives. Right. All day long. I'm getting over the hump of like not, you know, talking about there. like yeah. I, now I'm gonna But you know I'm what? Enjoy now talking I hate, about now myself. I hate it's to not do this. it doesn't sound I hate to do this now because now I'm gonna have to tell you, hey, stop talking about yourself. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> no, I want to talk about myself forever. <laughs> but guess what? We're gonna pick it up again next yes, week. Yes, pick it up for so, part two of um, of the introduction yes, of, the- of Jane Ali Ortiz. Yes. Thank Mi you. gente, Jesus. thank you for listening. Please subscribe to our podcast, um, wherever your favorite podcast is. And um, yeah. give us a shout out. Give us some love. Give, some, give us some five star ratings and follow Fa- us on our social media. <laughs> after we wrap. After, after we wrap. We wrap. After, after we wrap we show, wrap right? Show. Social media. After we wrap show, <laughs> that's this, like a tongue twister. After we wrap, it took me a little bit to like. It, we it stands for. It, it goes aw a w w aw aw aw. bendito, <laughs> bendito. All right, thank you for it. listening, Jayna. We did it.